Okay, gonna make some mix some henna up for my hair. Um, it's important that you get. Sorry, the label's kind of messed up from the freezer. It's important that you get high quality body art quality quality henna. This is Yemeni Yem, Yemeni henna powder from Yemen. This is 100 grams. I got it from henna soup. I don't know if you can see that. Um, hibiscus powder, I got 100 grams. I'm not going to need that much. It's a lot, but um, it's to enhance the red tone. Rubber gloves, measuring spoon, instructions, a bowl, spoon, and um, warm water. So, I'm going to mix it up. And what you do is you pour this in. And um, per 100 grams, you want to use three or four tablespoons of the hibiscus. Um, and then mix it all together. And then pour in water until it becomes like pancake consistency. Okay, after you add water until it, um, and you stir it as you add the water, and it becomes this like pancake like consistency, maybe even a little thicker, so it doesn't drip out of your hair. Um, and then put plastic wrap over the top and let it sit for two or three hours until you see dye release and I'll show you that when it's ready. Okay, hi. Um, I'm not wearing any makeup so don't judge my face. <laughs> but um, I'm about to henna my hair. And I'm so excited. I've been thinking about doing this for a while. It's kind of one of those things that you can't just date. You have to marry the idea of it. Um, so henna is an all-natural uh, plant and it's ground up and then you make um, you mix it with water and put it on your hair and it stains it permanently even more permanently than hair dye the red does not wash out ever um, and it's really important that you get body art quality so it doesn't have any um, metallic salts or anything there's some really bad henna brands they come in like a box at the grocery store you don't want those you want to order some high quality um, henna powder that is completely pure so that's what I did and I mixed it up got it all ready and um, I'm gonna be a redhead soon and I'm excited because I used to dye my hair with chemicals red a long time ago and I grew out this is my natural color my virgin hair I grew it all out and I rocked it for a while um, but it's just getting old it's just yeah I just don't like it anymore I think it's just boring I need something new and I really loved having red hair and I thought it really brought out my eyes and um, got lots of compliments, and so I'm doing it, and I figure if I hate it, it'll grow back out, <laughs> so, um, but yeah, this is something I'm committing to, so, anyway, um, this, it's all mixed up and ready, I've waited for, I've mixed it up, I waited, um, for dye release after a couple hours, and, um, now I'm gonna section my hair and put it on, and then wrap it in saran wrap and leave it on, um, for, I don't know, four to eight hours, however long. The longer you leave it on, the more dye penetrates the hair. Um, so, um, oh, where is I? So, oh, we're going to do this. <laughs> and I um, just wanted to show you the before. Uh, I can't wait to have gorgeous red hair. Goodbye hair. Oh, I'm nervous now. But... This is what I want, so, <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I'll show you my hair all wrapped up, and then I'll show you the result afterwards. Um, with henna, what happens is, um, you might need to do it a couple times before you get the red result that you want. I want a really deep red color, um, so, yeah. <sighs> um, when you put it on, and then you leave it on, and when you wash it out with loads and loads of conditioner, and then it has um, your first color result, which isn't the true color result. It um, oxidizes over a couple days, so in about three days I'll have the final result. And I'll show you that also before I put this up. So, yep. Bye-bye hair. Hope this is a good decision. No, I know this is. I really want red hair. So, I can always grow this back out. So, this is boring does nothing for me so let's do this <laughs> see you later